Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. For whatever reason, the British Touring Cars has the weirdest silly season rumours. So I've been looking around the internet for BTCC 2023 news, and I'm going to summarise the best and the worst of what I've heard. Honestly, some of it is on the same level as Tim Harvey racing a Zeppelin in the series, but some of it sounds more reasonable. So let's take a look at some 2023 British Touring Car rumours. I'll cover this first as it seems to come up every year. Jaguar joining the British Touring Car grid. I haven't seen as much this year, but it's whispered in some dark corners of the internet. Jaguar are not joining the BTCC grid. They'll never join the grid. Stop talking about this every year. Maybe if you stop mentioning it, they'll consider it. I'm putting this one in the no chance column. There has been a lot of rumours surrounding motor-based performance. The participation in 2023 is all but confirmed, but what about on the driver front? Well, Dan Kamish and Ash Sutton have both mentioned multi-year deals, so they are almost certain to be there. Ollie Jackson is a director in the company, so we can presume his seat is safe. As for Sam Osborne, I can't see any hint they may replace him, even with their extended junior division in various series. But the Ford Focus they are using at Motorbase is getting a bit old, and there are rumours they are going to replace it with an Audi. An Audi hasn't won a race in the BTCC since 2019 when Jake Hill dragged one to victory, his first in the BTCC, so it'd be a big risk for a successful team like Motorbase. But if anyone could take wins in the German tanks, it's Ash Sutton. We will consider this one a maybe. I think Motorbase have hinted at it, but there's no concrete news on the manufacturer front. It looks like the Infinity will be disappearing from the series. The car has been hugely successful in the hands of Ash Sutton, but last year all the Infinity drivers struggled for results, with Aidan Moffat probably being the best of them. Sadly, after such a brief period of success, it looks like Infinity won't be appearing in 2023. The Vauxhall Astra and Honda Civic are also old models, so it's possible they may get an update. One possibility as a replacement is the Peugeot 508. At least that's being touted around. Team Dynamics have been linked with a move to the Peugeot, and they do have previous with the manufacturer, but I don't know about this one. There's a new Civic out, so they might move up to those, but again, maybe. Back to Aidan Moffat and his teammate Dexter Patterson. They were testing Team Hard Cooperers at Donington, so maybe they'll both make the jump to that team. In other driver news, Team Accelerate Hyundai have confirmed Tom Ingram, Tom Chilton and Nick Halstead. I think that means Dan Lloyd won't be returning after his money issues. Max Coates, who has long been a hanger-on of the BTCC, he has only had three races in an Infinity back in 2015, but has been involved with Renault Clio's Genetta's and last year the Mini Challenge. Maybe he can finally step up full-time to the BTCC, although I'm not sure who with. Another driver linked to a drive, or at least showing interest, is Karun Chandhok. I think this is unlikely, but it would be great to see the former Formula 1 driver racing in the BTCC. Again, no idea if he's made contact with a team or not, but I will be waiting with anticipation to see if this is true. Karun Chandok in a Jaguar? About as likely as anything else, I guess. Another driver rumour is former BTCC race winner Tom Oliphant is going to be racing in Australia in the V8 supercars, or at least he's in talks to be racing. Whether or not it's a full-time drive or a shared Bathurst drive, I have no idea. Makes sense as he took a year off after moving to Australia with his girlfriend. Some other unlikely ones. Back in 2021, Team Parker hinted they'd be back after Hybrid was introduced and they've been linked with a return with a couple of Alfa Romeo Julias. I can't imagine seeing a car that glorious on the BTCC grid, but it is a possibility I guess. Graves Motorsport may make a return and they have been one of the teams linked to Max Coates. Carl Bordley, Senna Proctor and Sam Smell all describe 2022 as a sabbatical year and may all make a full-time return, whilst it's been hinted Ricky Collard will not be back in 2023. Burt Taylor has split with the BTC team and will be entering his own team. Apparently he's trying to convince Jason Plato to make a return out of what would be a very short retirement. Rich Energy BTC Racing are apparently building new cars, or at least new Civic chassis, and again have been linked to Plato. At the very least, they may be more competitive than they were at the end of 2022. And finally, Tim Harvey is linked with a drive in a Volvo. This comes up every year, and I am fairly certain is a recurring joke I don't understand. 
He raced for Volvo one year in 1995, and in 2023, Tim Harvey will be 61 years old. And Volvo don't make many saloon cars anymore. Only the S60 and S90, which both look pretty heavy and cumbersome for touring car racing. This ain't ever happening, but it does raise a point. Touring cars are getting harder to find. A lot of manufacturers don't make suitable saloons or hatchbacks anymore. Most have jumped on the SUV trend. So maybe the BTCC will have to make some big changes in the future, or have a lot less manufacturers on the grid. As for these rumours, most of them are bogus. So that was just a quick look at some BTCC 2023 rumours. We may come back to these before the season starts next year and see what was correct and what was complete nonsense. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you heard anything interesting about the BTCC or are you super hopeful to see any of these rumours actually happen? Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone who has joined recently. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.